It's the command center 233. You got the spot out on the west side of the blue building. I think yeah, you got the spot out on the west side of the blue building. All right, he got that one? Yeah, just stand by, Scotty. I don't know if there's anything north of that. I haven't been in there. My name is Scott Hardy. I'm a volunteer firefighter for ESD2 at Bastrop County, Texas. Okay. Okay. Hang tight. You got they're, it. They're going to run in. Okay. And then just listen well, out. If, if, you, if he verifies there's nothing, then go, go back to IC yeah, and have him reassign you. You got it. The fire was named the Powder Keg Pine Fire because as it developed and advanced, it got very close to an ammunition facility. Lots of gunpowder in a warehouse, so we were highly motivated to stop this as, as quickly as we possibly could. We are absolutely able to keep it from the ammunitions facility. However, it started spotting and growing, and soon it became a structure protection wildfire. I know you got it coming. We're gonna let that Yopon burn. I don't want to waste water on it. It's just gonna ignite fast and keep moving that way into the black. Here's our little babies right here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much, if it's moving to the black, I don't think it's a uh, danger, but I'm, I'm worried about now it's moving that way because of that wind shift. I, okay. Stay here with this guy. You Work got it. Him. You got it. I still got a little water. But... Work with him. Yeah. Save as much as you can. Don't you, got you, you got it. You got it. You got it. If you put him in with you, tell him. Absolutely. What's the address here? I got you, brother. We're gonna try to hit those. Yeah, bro. There you go, buddy. This was a heavy trunk, at least 100 pounds, and this is Texas, so I assume this young man's loaded his guns. Yes, sir. Oh, it feels like guns. I don't know if you caught that. He said, no, sir, just baby pictures. That went straight to my heart. Dude. We've got just more value, even more valuable. God bless you. All the rush trucks, save your water, let it get to the low stuff, catch it in the low. Save your water, catch it in the low. That young man's dad was on top of this Connex, and man, he was giving it heck with his garden hose. But it was 106 degrees. I knew he might need a little rehab. Happy birthday early. Oh, Ice you. cold, yes sir. I'll take hey, your hose. Uh, thank you. Hey, you got the hard drive? Uh, from operation, just so you know, they named it the powder keg fire. It's okay, that's all right. I'm right next to one, this is 256 next to 133, so I'm maybe 131. Getting really close to this structure right here, just like Norman said. Hey, you got the house, Dave? Yeah, there's a messy hand, it's like moving it off. Now we got another house to go over here. Fully involved right now. It's close to the structure. We might be able to get the structure, might be able to save it. That's some heavy sh I don't want to get into. Yeah, we don't have No I can spray my way into okay. the black. Oh, that's a foundation. That's great. I thought that yeah. was a wood deck. Live off to the left. Make sure it's not clapping around the back side of that house. E, George, John, two, four, six, seven, go back to the uh, dog
about him why they're intoxicated trying to take his side. Talk to me. Go ahead. Come on back. Come on back. I got you. Come on back. Keep going. You're all clear. Got you. Got you. Good job. Good job. Good job. There you go. Keep going. You got it. God bless y'all. Thank you for getting the animals. I knew I was getting low on water, so I set my nozzle to conserve as much water as I possibly could, but still knock this stuff back. Save the mower. Not today, Satan. Talk to me. All right. I think we got this structure. I think we got it. Over there. You got it. Oh, God bless you. Sorry, ladies and sir. You know, there have been times in some of these wildland fires where, where animals had to be released for their own safety. But I really felt like I could help this rooster in these two hens. Chief 256 on the back of this structure on the west side. I got multiple spot outs and some uh, torching going on over here. I don't know if any of y'all have been in 106 degrees Texas heat and had pants and a shirt and then wildland gear on top of that and then the radiant heat coming at you it was it's two things it's one it's humbling and two it really gets your attention okay come on out here there's a spot to drive across this edge right here i'm already got something burning up in this spot this big jack spot Yeah, traffic for a swallow up Well, hopefully. I just heard you speaking about a spot fire. I was just trying to see if that was you or who was talking about it. That's brush 256. We're right by and have a bunch of hay bales, cream structure next to a little grain elevator, multiple spots in this field. Negative, sir, running out of water and uh, Appreciate any help back on this part. I don't know how many gallons this brush truck has. It's probably 400, 500 at the very, very most, but I could not explain to you how the water just kept coming. And, and I'm, I'm not that good. I, I adjusted the nozzle and I was trying to be conservative, but to go over an hour and, and dispense this much water the indicator lights were strobing. That, that when, when it strobes from bottom to top like that, I, you got maybe 50 gallons left, if that. I, I, I'm not calling it a miracle, but I can tell you it is something I cannot explain. There were a couple of times I didn't even have time to use the hose reel. I just uh, threw a loop over and just went and later i told chief gill about it and he said oh you were gunning and running that sounds cool and it rhymes but i think more accurately i was more limping and dripping sometimes you gotta laugh folks even in the middle of the crazy and the chaos engine 
I don't know who this guy is, I just know I like him. I see a white helmet, he's a chief, I assume. This ain't his first rodeo, check out this maneuver. In case you miss that spin, here it is in slow motion. The man wasn't just graceful, he was helpful. You know, I realize from this perspective, it looks like I'm working alone. I am anything but that. I am surrounded by a tremendous amount of mutual aid. Looks terrible, we got it. Not today, Satan. Well, we're, let's move to, we're giving uh, it heck. One. Report to Alpha Division. It's a good drop. It's a good drop. I needed it right there. Thank you. Man, we had our hands full. That was just hay. I don't know if you can see that. It's about, gosh, about 275, maybe 300 in there. Stored heat. It was just hay. Just smoldering and smoking and I couldn't figure out why is there so much stored heat in here. It's a small hay fire. I mean, they're hard to put out, but I figured it out. Just around the corner here. Aha! Here's where <laughs> here's where all that heat was coming from. Yeah, it's a little convection, conduction, radiation. We got every type of heat going on here. When I first came in, I could barely see. And I saw this and I went, oh, okie dokie. Let's see if we can keep that away from that. Well, these mowers may live uh, to see another day and so will the tractor. However, <laughs> we found out really quickly out here, don't declare it a victory until it's a victory. We got a big drop coming. Appreciate it. Some of these airdrops were just tremendous and so accurate in the variety of aircraft. It's just incredible. Command received. So please, you can make it down the two-track, but once you get the two-track, it's it's heavy wood. Good God, is that beautiful? There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, bear 16. Anybody who's been through a devastating natural disaster, you know, it, the little things start to mean a lot. And those chickens and that rooster meant a lot to me. And I wanted to check in on them. <laughs> oh yeah, you're looking great. Hungry, hungry chickens. Well, you got a rooster and two hens. Oh man, it was close. It was pretty close. Wait a minute, it's only been 20 hours. 20 hours. 
like nothing. We have another crew that's going to get day two of this fire and we have predicted winds of 10 miles an hour and we still have uh, fuel and hot spots so uh, they get to do their their work you know it's uh i can't even describe it it's so incredibly gratifying it seems so simple you're just putting wet stuff on red stuff right fire but 17, 16, when you can when you can put it out and you can profoundly impact someone's life or their animal or their their home it's an amazing feeling it's a very very good feeling and here's what's crazy they all thank me they're like we sure thank you thank you for your service this brush truck was paid by them by the taxpayers so I tell them I go I'm I'm here because of you 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 already paid me you already thanked me so so until next time y'all please continue to be good to one another live to ride another day and I thank you wow what an incredible day hey that's the Sun <laughs> I saw it set a while ago it's funny to watch the Sun set and then the moon rise and set and then see the Sun rise again kind of cool look at that look at this that's right you made it that looks like a brand new mower too I was like this mower cannot be burnt up it still has grass to mow you know there are so many moving parts to a mutual aid event of this size and I, I don't even pretend to understand uh, how it happens I just know people are amazing there are people that don't have a YouTube channel they just show up consistently and they make a profound difference they, they save lives and the majority of the people uh, these pictures I'm showing you here and even in the video these are people that that aren't paid it's just what they do whether you call it behind the scene there are people that are putting out metaphoric fires you know it's it's Oh, it's one of my favorite pictures I took of Chief Andreas Rosales. Look at him, just that's him, just casually walking through an inferno, another day at work. I just want to show some of the faces of these in, incredible souls that I get to work with. And if I didn't mention you or if, uh, if I didn't have a photograph, please forgive me. Check it out, Cadet Firefighter Judah out of Bastrop. See, I wasn't alone. And, and, and I had Bailey partnering up with Bailey. He's a powerhouse. And of course, Amber, my dolphin sister, and Eugene, the firefighting machine. I took this shot. This was second day. Eugene and I were doing mop-up. I love the light surrounding him. It just looks so fine. These people I work with, they're, they're made out of something special. They may not be saints, but they, they sure are angels here on Earth. Christine likes to save the animals. I, I like to save the people. And, and together, uh, I think we make a good team. I guess the, the simplest word is, it's, it's just love. No, I, I wasn't running and gunning. I think I was tripping and dripping. <laughs> oh yeah, you're looking great.